They're very yummy. Sometimes I just need to know when to stop. I have the day off, so let's make it a productive day. Okay, it's 6.47 right now. My plan was to get up at 5.30, but that didn't happen, but that's okay. <laughs> so it's 6.47, so I'm just going to have a cup of tea, and then we're going to go in the pool to start off the morning right. All right, guys, so I am changed and ready to go in the pool, but before we do anything else, as you can tell, I'm a bit tired. So we're going to have a Magic Mind productivity shot. They're honestly delicious, because I know a lot of, like, productivity shots are, like, wellness shots are disgusting. But this is actually really nice. All right, let's do this. Honestly, very tasty. I'm going to try and have coffee less in the morning because it kind of upsets my stomach. It's just not really, and I don't think it's the greatest thing for me. So these have been really good. They're very yummy. Look at the little art on the side. Anyway, let's get in the pool. So as you can tell in that clip, I was pretty tired. So I want to come on here and explain a little bit more about what Magic Mind is. Essentially, it's a productivity shot, but it's not a caffeinated drink. So caffeine kind of blocks out the receptors in your brain that makes you feel you're tired. So it's not actually giving you energy. It just blocks out the receptors in your brain that make you feel tired. And usually between one to three hours is when you feel that caffeine crash. Yeah, that's not what Magic Mind does at all. So Magic Mind has new tropics in it that can help your focus for up to five to seven hours. And you may be asking yourself how does it do that good question <laughs> i always pronounce this wrong but l-theanine is nature's time release caffeine it can be found in matcha and helps increase focus and attention so essentially magic mind can give you the sustainable energy without the caffeine crash i have their links down below be sure to check it out so i do love starting my mornings off with either a pool swim or a beach swim because sure it's like exercise obviously like it's a physical activity but it's like a fun exercise for me like it doesn't feel like i'm exercising like I'll just swim some laps and I'll do some like handstands like stuff like that which makes it a lot more fun for me running is more like my actual that's running is me actually trying to be active but it's definitely not as fun so it's more it's more of a struggle but we push through because the reward is worth it but we're gonna eat some breakfast first because usually I'll just have like a music bar and then go for a run but because I've been swimming as well I don't want to have too little fuel in my body so we're gonna have some eggs on toast yeah I have quickly gotten changed. I don't remember where the top is from. The bottoms are just some gym shark shorts. My mom is going to make me some boiled eggs and I'm really excited. But I don't know what my plan is today. I have quite a few things I want to get done, but I really want to prioritize a couple things. So first thing I want to prioritize is doing some book notes because I haven't done it in about a week or so and I want to get back into doing it because it is a habit that I want to keep for 2024. I need to get my other YouTube video done, my road trip video, which will be up before this one. Hopefully I want to get it up by today, but I do have quite a bit to do. So hopefully Hopefully I can get it done by today. Maybe if I go to a library or something. Who knows? <laughs> now some other things I want to do is I wanted to rearrange my room because I spent like four hours yesterday going through all my stuff, getting rid of stuff. Organized all this stuff up here. Magic mind. <laughs> and I've emptied all of this out because I am hoping to get rid of this display unit altogether and get like a drawer set instead to hold some of my stuff but i want to move my bag to this wall here and then i'll have the drawers that i buy on that wall i'll move my desk that's here in front of the window and then i want to get like a little egg chair whether that happens today i don't know but that is something else i want to get done so we'll see but yeah so we have a couple things we need to get done today we'll see how much we get done we're not gonna put pressure on ourselves let's do this all right so i just relaxed for like 20 or so minutes let my food settle and it is now time to go for a run i'm just gonna have to get out the door as soon as possible because the weather is no joke today we have absolutely got this all right we have made it out the door i did some quick stretches but it's hot like i'm not gonna lie so we're just gonna have to push through i know i should have gone up earlier but that's okay i right, hear we're doing it now all right so warmth is done currently on the first interval i'm not gonna lie the heat's bad like it's definitely affecting the run a little bit but i feel pretty good my serotonin boost was almost like immediate the second i started walking the best part of this run is the slight shade break i get every lap i do there's like a tiny bit of shade i'm almost halfway we are smashing through it we're on the last like running bit now i'm glad i went when i did because any hotter i don't know if i'd be able to push through it <laughs> we are done i'm walking home now i'm just around the corner had a good serotonin boost when i finished all right i'm home now 
I'm just gonna take my clothes off, get changed into a bikini and just jump in the pool because the heat was no joke. We're gonna quickly get changed and I will see you guys in the pool. I'm very excited about it. I won't be in there for too long. It's just to reset myself to get other stuff done. That is exactly what I needed. Usually on a cooler day, what I like to do is do, I've done in a couple vlogs now, but in case you're new, I like to do either like yoga or Pilates or just some like cool down stretches. Just outside, like out the back, I just watch some like yoga videos and stuff. Honestly, if you just search up like five minute, 10 minute yoga videos, you can find a lot of good options. And also for five minutes, you know what I mean? Like it's always a good place to start. Like you don't want to just start doing like hour long ones out of nowhere because then you won't keep up with it. But like I've started like five, 10 minute ones and then sometimes they like 30 minute ones just to keep consistent because consistency is key but i'm just gonna do some stretching in the pool you can't really see just because i don't want to not stretch at all but it's too hard to be doing it out of the pool okay playtime's over i need to get some stuff done actually it's 9 48 a.m i'm so grateful for the life i get to live it's so gorgeous so I quickly got changed to some clothes. I have another bathing suit underneath. I didn't shower. I just put some stuff in my hair and got changed because I'm going to go to the beach a little bit later. But we're going to go to the library. I wasn't going to go to the library until later today. I just think I need to be out of my room and just into a neutral space where I can get some work done because I've been trying not to work in my bed. But my desk currently looks like that. <laughs> because I'm organizing and cleaning everything. So the only other option is to really go to a library. I will show you guys what I pack in my bag when I go to the library. This is the bag I'm taking. It's the bag I use when I go to uni. I'm also have just enrolled in two uni classes for this semester. So stay tuned for some, some uni videos, some study videos. It should be good. Now, this bag is a little squishy, but I will try and fit everything in. If you're wondering what this is, this is an external hard drive that I have to have for my computer because I edit on my computer. And as you can imagine, it takes up a lot of storage. Like my computer's pretty much out of storage, so I had to get this. And it wasn't cheap, but it was definitely worth it. Next, I'm gonna pack my book notes and my Atomic Habits. I'm so close to being done with it. A adapter for SD cards that I use to put things on my computer. Then this is my bullet journal because I wanna get some stuff done in it before I do my bullet journaling video on Saturday. Next, I bring my little book, which is what I used earlier to write in my to-do lists. It just makes it easy to plan out videos. These are just my glasses. I take two different types of headphones. I take these headphones because I find when they're not Bluetooth ones, the lag between the audio from my computer to this isn't as bad compared to my like Bluetooth ones. Then lastly, I would put in my pencil case. We will bring my normal headphones because I do prefer using those, but sometimes if I'm like doing a collage or video editing that needs to sync up with music, I would need to use these. Now, I'll also be taking my iPad because I use my iPad for a bit of editing as well. I'm hoping to get a new iPad soon. This one still works per like still works really well, but like the more recent iPads are made that you can like edit videos on and stuff, which I think would be really good, especially when I'm in when I'm at uni or if I'm traveling. On my road trip, I was editing in the car, but with a huge computer on your lap, it's kind of impossible. And I have a pretty big computer, which is good. I like it, but it's not it's not very good for like <laughs> mobility, I guess. But okay, I'm gonna pack you up now and I will see you guys when I'm at the library. What I like to do as soon as I get to the library is write two lists. One is stuff that I actually really need to get done. And then the second list is just other stuff that I'd like to get done if I have the time. Now, pretty much the entire time I was at the library, I was just spent editing my road trip vlog, which is now up if you wanna watch it. But I just spent about an hour and a half or so just getting a lot of editing done for that. But yeah, I like to write down dot points like finish the raw cut, which is like just the first cut of my video or it'd be like edit the first five minutes because that way it's a lot easier for me to, to keep track and realize like how much I've gotten done in that time period. Like I have to do stuff like that. Otherwise, I find it a bit difficult to keep on top of tasks. But yeah, so that also keeps me really motivated because I'll look and be like, oh, well, that's only like two more minutes of editing on my video, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's what I like to do. <laughs> We're back in the car now. I'm about to drive back home. I got a decent amount of my video done. I didn't get as much done as I'd hoped. I was hoping to have, I don't know, like I was hoping to be almost done. I'm about almost halfway through, which is good. But yes, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. So we had some lunch. Now we're going to attempt to move this out of my room. I want Please enjoy the next few minutes of absolute chaos as I try to rearrange my room. Sometimes I just need to know when to stop. That went smoother than I expected. Three, two, one. Nice and slow. 
All right, so it's probably been like 20 or so minutes. I just went through all of these. This doesn't close because it's broken, but I've gone through both of these. I've thrown away a bunch of stuff. Obviously, my display cabinet is gone, so we've made a dent. Will I continue I, right now? I really don't know. Guys, look, so the day has taken a turn. We've decided that right now is when I'm going to rearrange my entire room. Is that a good idea? I don't know, but we're just moving everything out into the hallway so then we can rotate my bed all over here. I know it's February 1st. Pinch punch first day, mom no returns. Self-help books. I'll probably need it after this. So that is all cleared out now. It feels weird having this smudge space in my room. But we just vacuumed this corner because it'll be hard to vacuum once we've moved to the bed. But I left the rest. Like we'll vacuum all that stuff up later. Oh dear. So my camera did die and during that time I did have a slight meltdown but we've made some progress. Most of the stuff from the hallway is now in my bedroom so that's good. All the rush bags you see are either rubbish or donating and my aim is to get another drawer set that I haven't obviously got right now. We've been doing this for four hours so the will to do it is very much diminishing. Just like I want to wait till I feel like. You just turned off, I'm not sure why but... Oh. smashing it and all I really have left is my shoes okay I've had kind of want to keep my skipping rope even though I've never used it all my socks are just gonna have to chill here for now because I don't have another space for them okay so we're gonna have a bit of a break to go for a swim apart from a few bits and bobs like my shoes and some books pretty much everything is in my room and I'm in love. I think it has so much more space. I think the light is being distrib distributed much better. Like the light will be coming straight onto my bed instead of like just on the corner of it like it was before. I mean, it looks really very happy with it, but we're gonna go shower. No, we're not. We're gonna go swimming. Finally, pool time. I have been looking forward to this all afternoon. How cozy feeling amazing now the night time is typically most of the time just a chill time for me like i'm not trying to get a bunch of stuff done like i did during the day especially after the day i've had like i'm tired but look it looks so spacious compared to what it was all right guys so i'm just gonna eat dinner in a little bit and go to bed so that's gonna be the end of today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much again to magic mind for sending me those drinks they are delicious if you guys ever get a chance check them out or i have their links in my bio as well thank you guys for watching subscribe if you want bye